Although Cyan was snuffed out last year, the spirit of the entry-level brand lives on in Toyota models like the new CHR subcompact SUV crossover. Although the CHR was originally destined to wear a Cyan badge in the States, it was a relatively painless process for Toyota to pivot and bring the funky crossover in as Toyota. The CHR was already slated to be sold as a Toyota in overseas markets, with vehicles such as the Nissan Juke, the Kia Soul, and the similarly sized Honda HR-V maintaining steady sales. It was critical that Toyota field a subcompact crossover in the United States. Like most organizations with a product to sell these days, Toyota wasted no opportunity to reference the M-word, peppering its pre-test drive spiel with all things millennial. After a day in the saddle in and around Texas Hill Country near Austin, we think Toyota should relax the pitch a bit and take a slightly more organic approach. In keeping with its Cyan roots, the CHR's trim hierarchy is simple with the XLE, $23,460 as the base model and the XLE Premium, $25,310, as, uh, the base model with a few tech and appointment upgrades. Standard equipment includes cloth-trimmed front bucket seats with six-way adjustability, a leather-wrapped steering wheel, Bluetooth, one us port, an auto-dimming rear-view mirror with backup camera, and dual-zone automatic climate control. The XLE Premium gets heated front seats, an 8-way driver's seat, blind spot monitoring, rear cross-traffic alert, and proximity entry and start. Those spunky two-tone models with the white roof and side mirrors? Those are our code CHRs, a treatment that is the sole available factory option in your choice of three colors, blue eclipse metallic, ruby flare pearl, and the R code exclusive radiant green mica. Simple, right? Here's where it gets funky. Due largely to its development under the Cyan banner and that brand's weirdo radio head unit, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and navigation, very few Cyan's ever had factory navigation, are not available on the CHR. For a small, affordable, and fashionable car marketed directly at millennials, these seem to be egregious omissions. That said, the Bluetooth works fine and using your phone in a mount is a perfectly workable navigation solution. Also strange, the 8-way driver's seat is entirely manual in operation except for power-operated lumbar support, which is akin to fitting a vintage mechanical watch with battery-powered dial illumination. 